Greetings, Earthlings. Chris Haley here, creator of Web Bunnies, and today we're going to be talking about how to make a meme for free. Web Bunnies. I'm going to show you how to make two different kinds of memes. One, the image with a caption meme. Number two, the image on an image meme. Again, this tutorial is for iPhone only. If you know of a legit way to do this on Android, drop it in the comments for the Google bots, please. So first, we're going to find an image that we're then going to add a caption to. I have an idea. Eureka! Open up Safari. I'm gonna search crazy eyes. All right, uh, here we go. And Nicolas Cage, the meme sage. Uh, so we're, we're gonna save this, so hold your finger down on the picture until the options pop up from the bottom. And then you're gonna hit save image. Crazy eyes, classic, we'll save this. Whatever this is, I'm feeling it. Uh, he's either eight or 45, no way to tell for sure, but one of the two. Save, save. If the picture you saved isn't the right size you want, you can crop it on your phone. You go into your photos, select the image, click edit. Then there's a rotate crop button here down at the bottom left side of the screen. Click that and use them sexy thumbs of yours to move the corners of the bounding box so it's the right shape and size of your fetish. Once you got it, hit done and that saves the image in your photos. Now, let's go ahead and make that meme. We're going to navigate on over to an app called PhotoGrid. PhotoGrid is free in the App Store. In here, we got some different options. We're gonna slide on over to the button that says Meme. Now we click the plus button here in the middle and we can select the different images that we downloaded. Let's kick it off with uh, this weird little old man. Select the image and now we can click the text to edit it. When the Tide Pods kick in, boys. When the Tide Pods kick in. Also, what's cool in here, you can actually search for GIFs inside of PhotoGrid. So you can make a GIF meme completely in PhotoGrid without having to go anywhere else. Really cool. Um, love this functionality here. So I can click the photo button uh, to switch out the different images. So boom, crazy eyes. Boom, cage. When we're happy with it, we hit done and it saves the image to the camera roll. Let's just go take a look and make sure our meme saved to our phone. Go to photos and there you have it, ready for distribution. All right, so let's take a look at something a little trickier, uh, a meme that contains more than just one image. Since this is web bunnies, we're going to slap a bunny on it and make this one. When you're trying to be cool like your friends. Stepping back into photo grid, this time we're going to select grid. There's different options we have down here to change the, the layout of the images. Some are side by side, others let you put one on top of the other. However, if you're using a background image like we are right now, it's best to initially only import or select the images that are on top. Uh, so I select Leo, hit next. Now, in the bottom toolbar, I'm going to hit the background button and then hit the Photos tab, and then we're gonna select the original One Direction image, and there you have it. The background image fills the whole image, and I'm free to move and rotate and scale Leo into the right position. If for whatever reason the background image isn't the size that it should be, down in the bottom toolbar, hit Ratio. Select the different ratios, the different sizes, until you find the ratio that fits your meme correctly. Cool. All right, so let's add the caption. There you have it. When you're trying to be cool like your friends. When you're trying to, oh, 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 be cool like your friends. Enough of that. Uh, hit done, save it, and you're good to post. One more tip. If you have an image, but you want to cut something out of it, you can download an app for free called Cutout. Also free in the App Store. I'm not really going to demo this, but it's simple enough. Basically, you select an image and the brush and rub out the areas you want to erase. Take some finesse, uh, but that's genius for you. That's the struggle of the artist. You have what it takes for greatness, my friend. Your memes are going to be amazing. I'd love to see the memes that you've created. Go to reddit.com slash r slash web bunnies. Join the group, post your meme that you've created. I wanna see it, I wanna upvote it. If you found this tutorial helpful, 
give it a like, subscribe to the page, join the group, all the things. Until next time, slap a bunny on it. If you want to make some web bunny memes, we would love real talk. We'd love to have you. Web Bunnies is an open source shared universe and all the images and assets are available to download and for you to use. So cook up some Web Bunnies meme sauce and post it in the subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash Web Bunnies. So to download some Web Bunny heads, Leo, Ralph, and Skittles, to make memes with PhotoGrid, here's how to do it. One thing is you're going to need to download the Dropbox app and create a Dropbox account. It is free, but if you don't download the Dropbox app, you won't be able to download the Web Bunny heads with the alpha channel. That's the transparency around the head. Once you have your Dropbox set up, go to the Web Bunny subreddit, open up Safari, go to reddit.com slash r slash Web Bunnies, and you're gonna wanna hit the link that says about this community. The Web Bunnies sidebar will pop up and you'll hit the link that says main repository. This will then open up the Dropbox app. You're gonna step into the meme template folder and then from there step into layers for mobile. And then in here, we have folders with images of the different bunnies from different angles and with different facial expressions. When you found the image you want, and this part is important, click the three dots at the top right of the screen and select export and save image. This will ensure that the image is saved to your phone with the transparency intact. That's it. If you've made some memes with this tutorial, I would love to see them. Post them in the subreddit. I hope this was helpful and more content coming soon. Tutorials, musings on art topics and creative things. Can't wait to slurp up that smash Getty and dank balls. Right.